So today we have a driving test at the Mitcham Driving Test Centre where you will see, this is a live test, where you will see the student going through various roads in Mitcham um, and you will see some commentary, or you will hear some commentary from myself about where her mistakes were. Unfortunately she didn't pass, uh, it was a very silly error. So keep watching to actually see um, what her mistake was. Now. Coming out the test centre, as I've said before in many of my videos, it's about 10 miles an hour and about here you can get to second gear, get to about 20 miles an hour if, if it's safe to do so, but between 10 and 20 is uh, your target. Uh, coming out the test centre, the, the sat-nav said to turn right, so it is a busy uh, right turn, but if you've been practising turning right, then any turns are easy. It's very important that as you're coming out of the test centre to position yourself uh, in the direction that you actually want to travel in and make sure that you obviously select the correct gear, uh, which is first gear to come out of here. Um, this is a busy road, as you've seen in previous videos. Patience is very important here. Just take your time. You will see um, in this video that she's taken the right choice uh, by not rushing out. And it's just buying time. It's very important, um, you know, to not rush coming out of here. Um, her test was at 2.22. Um, so generally speaking, it is a busy time at the Mitcham um, Test Centre. So it can be um, challenging to come out. But like with anything, if it's not safe to do so, wait, wait and wait until you see a gap even if you think oh you know uh, this is not correct to come out so wait until you see a gap if the right side is empty then you may go halfway and then hopefully someone on the left will allow you um, some time uh, to come out um, so yeah as you can see we're just still waiting um, it is a matter of a, a waiting game um, not much one can do uh, apart from looking for that right moment to come out. And I'm still waiting for that moment. So yeah, let's see. Um, obviously this is about two, two minutes into her test. Um, and she hasn't found a, ta a chance to come out yet, which is fine. Just keep looking for that safe gap. There it is. She's just come out now. Now, once you come out of the test center, the main thing to think about is to make progress. It is a 30 miles an hour zone here, which hasn't changed. Uh, it may change in the future. Uh, every road is becoming a 20. So it's just a matter of time before perhaps this road becomes a 20. But currently, it's a 30 miles an hour zone. You've got some traffic lights here. There are some pedestrians. So make sure when you're approaching a pedestrian crossing, you're using your MSM routine which is the mirror signal maneuver. Uh, as you come out here uh, at 2.22, there may be school kids around slowly coming out. Um, there may be you know, parents, so you know, look out for any hazards that you see. Uh, this video is pretty much like a hazard perception video, so for anyone who's wanting to practice for hazard perception, you can also use this video to see if you can identify any potential hazards uh, which are lingering uh, on the side. Uh, so you can see a bus is just stopped on there. So make sure you check your mirrors here. Centre right and make sure you come out. Uh, there is a speed camera there. So it's 30 miles an hour here. And we're just going to be making good progress as we get down this road. So here we have our second pedestrian crossing. One of the ways of identifying a pedestrian crossing from afar, if you look at the road markings, you will see there is zigzag lines on the floor. And that usually signifies that you are approaching a pedestrian crossing or high um, hazard area. So make sure one should check their mirrors before you approach there. Um, at the Lombard roundabout, the examiner said, no, I think, sorry, the sat nav said to turn right fourth exit, which is signposted Brighton and Gatwick. And in my other videos, you will see I've done a Lombard roundabout video, um, which is my students have told me it's very beneficial um, and they found it useful uh, to understand how to approach this roundabout and I have seen um, there's a hazard 
I have seen a lot of improvement for people uh, who have watched the videos and actually understood what to do. So no doubt, make sure you are looking at those videos uh, to give you um, some advice on how to approach this. Um, my camera doesn't cover the full, because I've used my, this is not my Insta360 camera, this is my other one. So you can't see on your right as much, um, but you will see again, it's very busy and she's going to be waiting here patiently. Um, I did congratulate her afterwards um, for doing this roundabout when I saw the video um, and she said she did feel nervous waiting for this period of time. But just remember, if it's not safe to actually enter, then make sure you just wait there and don't feel that pressure of I should go because at the end of the day, if you were a pedestrian, you would only cross the road if it's empty and you want to use that same advice here if it's not safe i'm gonna wait as long as it takes doesn't matter if someone toots behind me or is aggressive or is revving the engine none of that matters so she's just entered at the correct time because she didn't fail here and as she's coming across here you would be checking your left mirror to make sure there's no one on the left and here you would give a left signal so check your left mirror left signal and make progress this is a continuation of the 30 miles an hour zone that was previously uh, from the test center. All are 30 here. So you've got another pedestrian crossing. Look out for any cars coming out of those industrial uh, roads on the right. So, you know, make sure that you like there, I would have stopped for that vehicle. Um, just because if I, if it's safe for me to do so, then I would allow a car to come out if the car has actually come out halfway um there's a little bit of traffic here that's normal as i said 2 22 uh, p.m we expect in this uh, this is an unmarked uh, people make it two lanes uh, so make sure you are positioning yourself one meter from the curb on the left hand side um, and watching out for any motorcyclists or even vans overtaking you uh, so the examiner um, said to her to follow the sat nav and the sat nav said continue uh, ahead uh, this route it actually goes towards pearly way and her first maneuver is going to be at the decathlon car park where she was asked to do a forward parking um so yeah we're just waiting along uh, she still hasn't failed here um so all of this driving is actually good uh, she only has got two minor faults um in total uh, she was driving for about 35 minutes and two minors um, and two serious, um, which was, again, unfortunate, uh, considering I can see that the drive is going uh, very well. She's making good progress. Um, she's doing about 24 miles here, which is good progress. 27 now down the hill, coming up to slightly over 32. So she probably slows it down a little bit here. And then the sat nav said to turn left. Now, you can get roadworks, so remember to check your right mirror and then move over to the right uh, and overtake this vehicle if it's safe to do so. Um, I don't know why she stopped here, but I'm presuming there was probably some issue here. Uh, again, it's only front-facing camera, so I can't see everything, and I wasn't there at the test either. Uh, so you would give a left signal here, and then as you're coming out, remember there is a giveaway sign here. So you look to your right, and if it's safe, you proceed. Uh, first gear it, and then she's moving along. A little bit slow, but she's being cautious, which is fine. We're going to be turning left here into the decathlon car park, where the examiner told her to do a forward um, bay park, um, but forward. Um, now, I have got one thing to say about uh, what she did in this she did so she got a minor this was one of the minor faults because she had to reverse back and then shunt it forward but um, the original one that she selected to go into was absolutely fine um, because it's going to be in between these two black cars and I would have chosen the middle away from the two cars which is the one that she did choose and, you know, she should have just gone a little bit more forward and then actually put on a full lock. Um, but what you see here is once she's actually going in, 
she realizes that she's not in the bay uh, and as you can see that's the bay she would have uh, gone into had she just gone a bit more forward but she's ended up in the middle of both of the bays which is fine uh, if you want to then reverse out uh, but what she does is she chooses um, next to a car which I think is risky uh, she did get away with it here because she did shunt back enough and she moved the car then safely into that space without causing any problem but the simple fact of the matter is don't choose to do your maneuver next to cars and if you are going to shunt it back out and then go back in make sure you go away from uh, any cars it just makes your life a lot simpler and less risky so after here you're going to see her reversing out of this car park and then moving uh, safely out of the car park so i'm not going to do much commentary driving here i'm just going to wait until she gets to the point of where she fails the rest uh, of the next five six minute drive uh, there was no issue there the examiner did not record any faults uh, so do watch it uh, while um, I'm just going to wait until it gets to that point and then I will give you a commentary of where she failed again. <laughs>
hopefully you've been enjoying listening and watching to the video. Uh, this is the part where she is coming up to uh, where she makes her uh, serious fault. Uh, unfortunately, it is one of those things that we always say, do not follow and copy what other road users do. So as she comes up to the end of this road, you will see that just here, the examiner says pull up on the left. So fine, you know, she does that correctly. I'm sure she's doing her three point check, uh, 360, um, six point check. And then she's actually moving off safely. And then as she comes to the end of this road, uh, the examiner at this point has said to f turn right. Now, you can see that this road is a two-way road. All you have to do is look at both sides of the cars and they're facing in different directions. So there is no reason to think that this road is a one-way road. Now, the car in front, as you can see, decides to go on the other side of the road. And unfortunately, my student followed her on the opposite side of the road and decided to turn right. She thought that it was a one-way road and obviously she she affected other road users, uh, which is uh, a guaranteed fail. And unfortunately, that was the main reason. So it was a good drive. Um, you know, when you are approaching roads that you're not sure, don't just follow people. Make sure you're aware of whether it is a one-way road or not. And then if it is a one-way road, then you should obviously position on the right-hand side and then take the turn. The next fault uh, that she does, which is a serious fault, was on Lombard Roundabout, approaching from this angle, which is the flyover angle. Um, and the examiner said to follow the sign for, for Wimbledon and Mitcham. Now, this, this is a very tricky uh, exit, so do practice a lot on this. And, you know, I've said I'm going to be practicing with this student uh, it's about judging when to come out. So you have to make sure that you practice this angle because there are two right turns um, that you have to give way to if you come out and you obviously misjudge the timing. then unfortunately, that will be a fail as well. It's not clear on this video um, at what point, you know, she affected the car because the angle isn't covered uh, in the camera. But you've got to make sure uh, I think she didn't stop much. She just saw a small gap and decided to take the turn. Um, so she was unlucky. I'm sure she'll be fine on the next test. So it's just a matter of time. So keep practicing. Uh, the key uh, to success is practice, practice, practice. Um, so yeah, if you guys uh, enjoyed these videos, then do subscribe and keep looking and push me for making more videos. Uh, these videos do take time. And I am on the road, obviously working, so sometime there could be gaps between um, when I produce my next one. But if you like the videos, then do comment and uh, keep, you know tell me to keep up the good work. And uh, you guys, take care. Thank you.